What is up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to get right to the chase. I'm going to show you how to build a simple budgeting calculator on Google Sheets. Now you can also do this on Microsoft Excel. It's just that I lost Excel privileges when I graduated from college and I'm not going to pay for Excel because Google Sheets, in my opinion, for what I need to do, does everything it needs me to do. So without further ado, let's go to my computer screen and I'll show you how to build a simple monthly budgeting calculator, budget, all that stuff. How to build it specifically for you. So the first thing you need to do is to name your sheet. So I like to name mine the months of the year. So as you can see here, I already have one called September because I built it real quick just to make sure everything runs smoothly before I build it here live on screen like the news. Maybe it's like Fox 4 News if you're from Kansas City. I don't know the Houston channels, news channels, but Fox 4 Kansas City if you're from Kansas City. But go down here, name it the month that you're starting the budget. So it's July 25th. Let's just say for the sake of this example, we start this budget in August. So you name the title of the page of the sheet August. So the first thing you need to do is put income, okay? Start with income. Start with the money coming in. Where are you getting your money? And what I like to do to make everything easier to see and jump off the page is do a little color here and an underline. Okay, so you underline income. And what do you get paid every week? Do you get paid bi-weekly? Do you get paid every single month, once a month? What is the case? So let's just say for the sake of this example, this person gets paid twice a month. So they get paid mid-month, the 15th of the month, and they get paid at the end of month. End of month. Okay, let's also say, just for the sake of this example, they have a couple other streams of income. Let's say they make money from YouTube. They have a YouTube channel. They also make money from an Etsy page, and they also do coaching where they help people coach something, right? Let's just say for this. Now, you don't have to. You, maybe you only have your mid-month and your end-of-month pay. Or maybe you don't have mid-month and your end-of-pay. Everything is going to be different. But just for the sake of this example, I don't want to keep saying that, but for the sake of this example, this is what I'm going to do. So now what I like to do, I like to go down a few lines and add total, add a total. And what the total is going to be, you, you put in this formula, equals the sum, and you hit tab, and you go down here, and you highlight and I like to highlight down here, and I'll explain in a second why, and you close the parentheses and you hit enter. So let's just say that this person makes $2,000 a paycheck. 2,000 here, 2,000 here. And from YouTube, they make $100 a month. From Etsy, they make $200 a month. They have a pretty good Etsy store. And from coaching, they coach some people on something and they make $300 a month, okay? Now, real quick, do this to make it easier for yourself. Also, easier to see, because these numbers are kind of hard to see. So I like to hit this little button up here in the top corner, and then you see here, you hit the dollar sign. That way it makes all the numbers into dollar values because the majority of this spreadsheet is going to be dollar values if it isn't text. So you can see, look, this puts a total already. This automatically sums up as you add it. So if you delete this, say, oh, this month I didn't make any from Etsy. Now I'm down to 4400 okay? Also, the reason why I had the sum, see how it says sum, B2 to B9? So I like to add, maybe this month you had, in August, you had an extra $100. So you go here and you put in an extra $100. And see how it automatically does it. It just puts it in. You say $100 from second job. Second job, extra $100, okay? So that's why I like to add the extra line. Now the next step, okay? So you have your income. You have your income. I like to do this also is make a line right here, the next column over, completely black. So you know where the break is. Next, what you're going to put is your fixed expenses. Your fixed expenses. You do the same thing. I like to do this. Always add a line and I like to highlight, and I'm gonna highlight this one in the red because expenses are money going out. So your fixed expenses, right? You have your mortgage or your rent, you have your car payment, you have car insurance, other health insurance or other types of insurance, cable bill, you have Amazon Prime, maybe, you know, this person, let's just say this person, they have electricity they pay for. I can't spell. Electricity water. Now I know electricity and water are not fixed, but they usually stay around the same amount of number. And you'll see in a second, it'll make a lot more sense. It'll be easier if you just throw it into fix and you can just put in what it costs that month. So each month you come in here and change it, or you just put a ballpark of what it usually costs. If you've been living in the same place for a few months or, or a couple years, you know, usually what your electricity, your water bill is going to cost. So let's just say these are the person's fixed expenses. Now I do, I do the same thing here. I do the total. I always total up and I do sum tab all the way down and then close parentheses and you have zero dollars. Now you look, okay, say their mortgage is $1,200 a month or rent, boom, see, automatically calculates. Car payment, 250, car insurance, $100 a month. Insurance, another $75 a month. Cable, they pay $70 a month. 
Amazon Prime is like 12 or 13, I don't really know the price. Electricity, 80, water, 50, boom. Automatically calculates the total of their fixed expenses. Now you can add more, like I said, this that's why I do the sum all the way down, you can add more. Say, you know, you, you get a gym membership for $100 a month, so you put gym, gym, right there, and it automatically calculates it. Now what I like to do, just because I'm heavy on seeing these kinds of things, I like to see it visually, what I do under my total is I hit equal, then I take the total number, so I tap it, E13, and then I hit divided by the total income, and you get, it shows a dollar sign, now you go up here and you hit parentheses, and it shows that right now, 42.11% of this person's income is going towards their fixed expenses. Now, next column here, because you've done your fixed, but what about gas, what about food? So now you take your other expenses, right? I usually put variable, variable, can't spell, expenses. Okay, so this is where the math, the, the formulas you put into Google Sheets gets a little complicated, but I'll show you here in a second. So variable expenses, let's just put four. So you have gas, you have grocery, you have eating out, and you have entertainment. Let's do five, and miscellaneous, miscellaneous. So now what I like to do, how much do you budget? You have amount budgeted, budgeted. Now if you double click this, it'll do that. So amount budgeted, how much do you wanna budget per month for these. So let's just say gas. This person wants to budget $100 a month for gas, grocery, let's say $300 a month for grocery, eating out, $200 a month, entertainment, $200 a month, and miscellaneous, another $300 a month. Okay, so now what I like to do, always here, is go down a few lines, and you sum all the way down, boom, enter. Now what I like to do here, so you know it's the total, right? I put a little border up above, like this, so you know that these numbers add up to here. Now here you go to amount spent, okay? And we'll get back to this one. And then here, this column you do amount left, okay? And you'll see why, I know this doesn't make sense, but this is a very, very intuitive, but simple calculation spreadsheet to help you calculate and understand where your money's going, and how much you're budgeting. So here, we do this, again, highlight. Now, this column is gonna be also a little red, but it's gonna be light red berry. That way, it's kind of like red because it's money going out as well. So now, what are you gonna do to continue this? We're gonna come back to this in a second. Fill this in to black again. So what you're gonna do in L1, you're gonna put expenses, okay? Now you're gonna have your expenses, and this is gonna be three columns long, this one. So O, column O, will be all black, so you know it's the next one. And we'll get to this one, this is the last one. P is the final portion of this spreadsheet. So you have your expenses. So what we're gonna do is, let's just say, for the month, this is what I do. So every time I charge my credit card, I come into this spreadsheet, well not this one, but one I have, I come into it and I put what expense it falls under, is it gas, is it grocery, is it eating out, is it entertainment, miscellaneous, and then I put the amount in this column, and then in, I put the reason why, if there needs to be a reason why. So I kinda can just remember why I spent that or where that money went. So let's just say, for example, this person, they go get their gas filled up for $30, okay? And you look and it's like, this doesn't go anywhere. This, this number 30 doesn't like have really any meaning to it other than it's an expense for gas, but it doesn't calculate anywhere. It's not calculating anywhere, which is true. So what we need to do is fill out a formula in amount spent so that we can translate this $30 over to here, which will show us how much we have left for the month. I know like, it's a tongue twister, but we'll get it here. So we have gas. So this is the formula. You do equals sum if tab. Now you do L2 all the way, let's just say L100, all the way down, okay? There's really not a reason why I do L100, just because you might have a lot of charges, so you want this to calculate really, really far down. So you do L2 to L100, comma, now you enter in what you're looking for. You're looking for gas, so you do quotations, gas, with a little asterisk, okay? Which, I'm not gonna explain and sit here and explain why it's not really part of the reason, but just do that because I promise it'll work out. Then you hit the, you close the quotes, then you hit another comma, and where do you want it to calculate? You want it to calculate the column M. So you do column M2 to M100, close the parentheses, hit enter. Boom, amount spent 30. We do another one, let's just show you that it works. So you have gas, you go over here, say another 30. Now it's amount spent 60, see how it calculates? Now this column is just amount left, so you do amount budgeted minus amount spent to show you how much you have left. So what you do now is you just drag it down. But before you drag it down, you gotta put these dollar signs 
which again, I'm not going to get into it, but that's going to help you in the long term. I promise you if you do these dollar signs. So now you have the dollar signs, you see all the dollar signs before the numbers and the letters and you drag it all the way down to where you want it to drag. And now you see how it says 60, 60, 60. That's because it's looking for gas. So on the second column, you're looking for grocery. So you do grocery. On the next one, you're looking at eating out. So you do eating out. The next one here, you're looking for entertainment. So you do entertainment. The last one here, you're looking for miscellaneous. So you do M-I-S-C. Now, if you go in here and look, M-I-S-C, 100. Now see how it has calculates amount spent 100. Amount left, you drag this down as well and it'll automatically fill out the numbers for you. See, H4 minus I4, H4 minus I4, 200 minus zero is 200, 200 minus zero is 200, 300 minus 100 is 200. Now here, same thing, you sum these numbers, hit enter, equals, sum these numbers, hit enter, just to see where you are at, right? Just to see where you are at for the month of August. So you can see in the month of August, you are budgeted your variable expenses at 1100. You spent 160, so you have 940 left for the month. So if you go in here, I say eating out, I spent $100, right? And this is why I leave the extra column because you say eating out, I spent 100. Okay, I went on a date to Chili's. I love Chili's, so you went on a date to Chili's. $100 of Chili's is kind of a lot, but $100 of Chili's, you can see eating out, $100. The reason why, date to Chili's, you go to eating out. I spent $100, I budgeted 200, that means I have amount left 100, and all these numbers change. All these numbers change. So then real quick, what I like to do here is this. Okay, in this column, I like to highlight it all. Now this is kind of not really simple, but we're gonna do it if you follow along with it. You go to format and you hit this button, conditional formatting. See how it's highlighted. What you're gonna do is you're gonna change this from greater than or equal to zero. And just hit done. Make sure this fill color is green like that. Hit done. Now you're gonna hit another rule. Now you're gonna do less than zero fill color red done now what that does is see how they're all green because you are still in the green but let's say now eating out you go out again and you spent 150 so 100 plus 150 is 250 you budgeted 200 so you hit enter and look you are actually in the red 50 dollars you're down negative 50 so then you can see at a quick glance oh i'm down 50 dollars i've overspent on eating out so then the last thing here before we put it all back together is this Savings, right? Very, very important. What are your savings? So you do this, I highlight it, green, because green, you're saving money, you're putting it in there. And all I like to do is this, okay? So I, I to hit the total column, always have the total column, that way you know where you're sitting at. Total, you highlight what you wanna look for, hit enter, okay? What I like to do is this, savings. Okay, so let's say it is August 2nd, 8-2-M1 Finance. That way you just know the date and where you put your money. And you put in, let's say, $300 on August 2nd in one finance automatically calculates now under this number I like to do this I like to do equals total divided by your income It's gonna come out a dollar sign all you do is change it to percent and you can see that 6.52 percent currently of your income in August is going to savings and 42.11 is going to your fixed now to boot all of your expenses all you do is this you do this is your total fixed expenses percent so now you just do total expenses and what you do is you take this number and you add it to amount spent hit enter this number and amount spent equals this now what you do is you do the same thing you take this and you divide it by your income it's going to come out a dollar sign you change it as a percent and you can see 51.02 percent of your fixed expenses and variable expenses your total expenses are going towards your expenses, right? 51.2% of your income is going towards your expenses. 6.52% of your income is going to your savings. You can fill this out as much as you want to go. I haven't highlighted this one. Let's do this one yellow. But you can fill this out with anything. I fill this out every single time that I charge my card. Oh, I went and got gas, another $20. I went and got, or maybe 30, probably not 20. $30 for gas. I went to entertainment, okay? I went to entertainment, entertainment. I spent $24. And I went to the movies. Well, you can't go to the movies now, but movies, right? And it, all this calculates, this calculates, this calculates automatically as you fill out this one. These fixed expenses stay the same. This income, you change it, right? You change, maybe your income changes. I do sales, so my income changes every, every single month. But if you aren't, if you're in a salary and you don't have 
any variable to your income. You can you don't have to really change this. Now YouTube, if you do something on the side where well, that changes, you obviously have to change that. But maybe you don't even want to include that in your income. That just automatically goes into savings and you don't even throw it on here. That way you aren't even tempted to spend it into expenses. But as you fill out this column here, L, M, and N, as you fill this out, this changes, this changes, which in turn will show you how much you are spending total on your expenses, how much you are putting away to your savings. But that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a very simple monthly budget that I use. I have a couple more features that make it not so simple, but if this video gets 15 likes, then I will show you what features my budget has and build a budget on top of this that has the features that I have, a little more advanced, right? But this is a very simple budget. You fill in your income, you fill in your fixed expenses, you fill in this formula for your variable expenses, you fill out every single time you charge your card, every single time you put money into savings or investing, and boom, it all calculates for you. You can see how much of your income is going toward expenses, you can see how much of your income is going to your savings. You can build a budget and see, oh, I only have $10 left for gas this month, and there's one week left, and I don't really need to drive, let me just put $10 into my tank and let it ride off at the end of the month. Right, and then I'll start over when I have $100 for the next month. Or I'm $50 over eating out. I can't go out to eat again. I can't go out to eat again because I'm over budget. Or if I wanna go out to eat again, then I'll have to cut back on entertainment or I'll have to cut back on groceries. This way you can see you are going in there and yes, it's not automated, right? You can't just swipe your card and it'll automatically update, but this this makes you take the initiative to go out there and see, and it's not just swiping it and seeing a number pop up. You are filling in and seeing as this changes, right? You're like, oh, entertainment, I'm in the green. But then you do something with entertainment and it's $200 and now you're in the red. You can see it automatically right there and you had to fill it out. It wasn't just an app that did it for you. You filled it out. Yes, it takes a little extra step and it's harder to do, right? It's not easy, but I promise you, if you do this, it'll help you stick to your budget and Look at this, right? Look at this, it's easy, it's simple to set up, Google Sheets or Excel. Okay, so sorry for the bad audio here. I wanted to do this, I didn't talk about it when I recorded, but I actually thought about it when I was editing this video. But if you want to go to September, right? You filled out August, say August is now over, and you wanna copy this spreadsheet to September and keep going and fill it out into September, so you can have it, so you can go back and look in previous months where your money is going. All you do is you click this little arrow right here, and you hit duplicate and it'll be a copy of August. All I have to do is change it to September. September. And then what you can do is just delete this, these values, delete your savings, right? You haven't done that for the month. And then look, this goes back to green, your savings starts to zero, everything goes back to where it is. And you can fill out here, gas, $30, boom. And it automatically does it here again. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a longer video, but I wanted to show you how to build a simple, simple monthly budget calculator on your Google Sheets, on Excel, or however you want to do it, right? Those are the only two I really know. I think you can do it also on Apple Pages, but I don't know that. I know Google Sheets right now and Excel, but I did this on Google Sheets because Google Sheets is free and I'm not going to pay for Excel. But that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, if you want to learn anything else, I have a bunch of other videos. Also, while you're here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Let's try to get to 300 subscribers by the beginning of August. Also, while you're down there, do not forget to leave a like on this video. Once again, 15 likes, and I'll show you a more advanced monthly budget. And while you're down there, don't forget to leave a comment. Any comment counts. Say hi, say hello leave a period any kind of comment helps more and more people see this video and this channel helps us grow on this awesome awesome platform called youtube last but definitely not least while you're down there don't forget to turn that little bell so you can be notified when i post a video on here on youtube on my channel every single monday and wednesday and friday so that is it ladies and gentlemen i hope that this video was very informational if you have any questions about this you want me to help you out leave a comment down below but that is it ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and let's get investing